Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. It has been a rainy, miserable, let me say, woo, hi here real quick. Woo, there we are. It has been a rainy, miserable week. It's actually pouring right now. Um, went to the Dollar Tree, it was pouring. Left the Dollar Tree, it was pouring. Came home, it's pouring. I'm actually pre-recording this because I have stuff on my glasses because this is my infusion week, so this week is gonna be Thursday and Friday. Sorry, I'm just trying to clean my glasses off. I don't know what was on there. And uh, so I figured I'd get this pre-recorded for you guys. I was excited to get to Dollar Tree to see what they had put out after they got rid of all the Easter and all that other stuff, and I found a lot, a lot of really cool home decor pieces, which I am absolutely in love with. Everything I got this trip was $1.25. I did not see a lot of um, you know, like more expensive items, except for the Pepsi is a dollar seventy-five, and they did have like really small bags of like Cheetos and that name brand stuff. They were like two fifty for a little bitty, bitty, bitty bag. So needless to say, I didn't get any of that stuff because they still have plenty of the other stuff that's a dollar twenty-five. So I'm gonna turn you back over here. Just wanted to come on and say hi for a sec. Um, and then I'll bring in little P afterwards. There we go. But of course, I got another bag of the Grimm's White Cheddar Popcorn. These are so good. And these are nice big bags, too. These are six ounce bags. We love these to snack on at nighttime. My husband actually picked out these. We haven't tried these before. And this is the Cheese Popcorn, the Brims. So that was his pick out of that section because he does love the food section at Dollar Tree. That's his favorite, and why not? Uh, let's see, he also got some more of these. What are these things? He loves these, I don't love these. They're actually pork sticks. There's smoked cured bacon. He said these are really, really, really good. If anybody likes this kind of stuff, you guys know, I do not. <laughs> but I think that's all for food. Um, I did pick this up down in the cleaning section. This is Arm & Hammer Foaming Garbage Disposal Cleaner. Um, it's citrus, scents, citrus scent, and you get up to four uses out of this little pack. So you guys know, if you have a garbage disposal, it tends to get stinky now every now and again. So I'm going to give that a try. Why not? And then I picked up some of this um, carpet and room pet deodorizer. Um, I'm going to use this down in my basement and I have carpet down there and it's it just gets really stinky but I bought two of these I was hoping it wasn't really going to have a strong scent but it really does it's kind of a really strong scent to it I can't even describe to you what it smells like but as long as it can will take some of the you know it gets I don't know damp down there we have a dehumidifier we have the pellet stove down there that keeps everything pretty well dry but it's still the carpet down there is just never ever just fresh so I'm not going to be able to use this on my upstairs. I have a small carpet in my living room. I thought maybe I could use some of there, you know, because we have the dogs, the cats. But it's too strong to use around my birds, so I can't use that upstairs. I'll just have to use just regular baking soda and be happy. Um, got another one of these. Go through lots of this. Actually, I got two of these. The Spick and Spam. Love this. This is my favorite one, favorite scent. And it is a one pint, 16 fluid ounces. And uh, yeah, this stuff is great. Just has a light lemony scent to it, not overwhelming. And then I bought some of this stuff from my hair because, you know, every once in a while I like to do my hair and have it look real pretty instead of just crazy curly sometimes. But um, so this is Salon Selectives. It's, you know, a nice brand. Uh, you get four ounces in here, and this is tropical coconut oil heat protectant, um, sulfate free. Um, repairing technology. You use this with your heat and styling tools to protect your hair because, you know, some people like to straighten their hair all the time and they're always curling it heat, or blow drying it. So it's nice to have a, a nice spray to put on there. And then this I also picked up to see how this is going to work. Um, this is damage repair. My hair is so dry. I don't know if it's just the time of year or all the different medications I'm on now or what, but man, is my hair dry. So, this has um, vitamin E, um, what else we got here, argon oil hair treatment. So I'm going to give that a try. Um, so as you put it on after shampooing, apply gently to wet hair, massage for 
through to the ends and then you leave that in for about three minutes and then you rinse it out and it says you can use this like two to three times a week. I probably only use it maybe once a week, but it's worth a try because I'm telling you what, man. And I, I really think it's the heat and everything because we have the pelt stove going when I'm downstairs. We have the heat going upstairs and just everywhere you go, you got the heat going in the car or, or whatever, especially in this area. All right, what else did I get here? Oh, these also my husband picked out. These are Welch's um, little drinks here. This is strawberry kiwi, has vitamin C in it. So he wanted to try these. I don't think we've ever got the Welch brand there before. And this is a 16 fluid ounce bottle. It's 180 calories. Um, flavored juice blend, apple, kiwi, and strawberry. So yeah, it looks really yummy. So we'll see. That's for him to take to work. And he also picked up this orange pineapple flavor. That's a that's different. I don't think I ever had the orange pineapple anything. And 100% vitamin C. This one's 220 calories. But yeah, there you go. So he got those. Those were his picks of the day too. All right, now for the other stuff I got that's not the fun stuff yet. But I did pick up two more of these spray bottles. I love these spray bottles. They're nice big bottles um, and they work really well. The sprayers on them work real nice. You can fill them all the way up to here. I'm trying to see because I can't see. Uh, oh, and it kind of tells you where to measure different measurements on here, but I'm trying to see what the fluid ounce, the whole fluid ounce is. I don't know. I can't see what it says here. Uh, I don't know. It's got all these different measurements. Oh, stay. It's very hard to see because it's all clear. But anyway, it holds a lot. <laughs> I can't see it whatsoever. Sorry, guys. Um, it's just telling you like one to one measurements, two to one measurements, that kind of thing. It's not giving me how many ounces these things hold. But anyway, nice ones. I got one with the gray. I didn't I've never had one with the gray. And these are great too if you take a Sharpie and because that's what I always do. Some I have like to clean around the, oh here right here it says 28 ounces. Right on, you probably can't see that either. 28 ounces. Um, anyway, I write on here because a lot of them I'll fill like, you know, put like a little bit of Dawn soap and then I fill that with water and I use that a lot to clean around my bird cages and things. You can clean a lot of stuff with Dawn and water, let me tell you. It's great. And then I'll have another one usually with this color because that kind of reminds me that that is the one that I have mixed with uh, Mr. Clean with Febreze. And I'll, you know, just mark them up real nice so we know what's in there. And then some we use just with plain water. Okay, enough of the bottles. I picked up this little bowl here. It's a little kitty bowl and has a nice rubber or silicone bottom to it. I use this for my puppy's food in the morning because um, she has a little bowl with like dry food and I've been like kind of dumping the other stuff on top of it in the morning for her to eat and then I have to throw it out by the end of the day. So I figured the um, other food that I make for my dogs, um, I could just give her a little scoop of that in here and then I don't have to throw out all what's left at the end of the day in her dry food. So I thought that was cute and it's nice and pink. It's just a little kitty bowl, but she's tiny, my little Layla. She's a chihuahua, so I think this will be perfect for her. I've never seen them there before, but I don't usually look in the cat section. But since she's so tiny, I've been getting a lot of stuff in the cat section. Oh, there's one more hidden gem in here of my husband's, and that's his V8 juice. i got all kinds of stuff down here in this little basket of mine. So yeah, he likes that 100% vegetable juice. That's another thing I am not a fan of. <laughs> but he loves it. I know a lot of people love it. So he got that. He usually takes those to work with him too. Now these I got. These they have out in the summer section now is these pretty coffee cups. I figured I'd grab me a couple cute coffee cups since little P has broken a couple of mine this week. My favorite ones of course he broke. But I thought it was so pretty. Look even in here has the little starfish on the inside. And this is a nice big mug. I like the nice big mugs because I like me have nice big cup of coffee in the morning. And these are micro, Microsoft safe, <laughs> microwave safe and dishwasher safe, which is wonderful. And they're real pretty. It's got the seashells and the sand dollars and 
all those kinds of goodies on there. Real pretty. They have the whole set of this stuff with the dishes and the bowls and the um, towels and all that. I didn't pick up all that stuff this time. Maybe I'll get some more. We'll see. Maybe on a sunny day I'll feel more tropical. <laughs> and then I picked up this coffee cup as I thought it was cute. It just says dream big with those big old eyelashes on there. I thought that was cute. This one doesn't have anything on the inside. But it is printed on both sides, which is nice. So there's my two replacement mugs that <sighs> Little P has. And this is a nice big one, too. I don't know. Does it say the ounces? But anyway, the Little P destroyed my favorite mugs last week. Oh, I was so mad that he threw that one on the floor. He's such a little stinker. But I forgot him again today. He was sitting out there really good playing on the play stand. And my husband went out there. He goes, you know, P's on the kitchen table. I'm like, no, I didn't. But luckily, he did not get anything. And I picked up a couple of these little, um, what are they calling these? Dun, dun, dun. Sure, I'm just, just calling this a jar with lid and straw. Okay, well, that's what they're called. But these are glass, and I thought these were really cool. And it has this nice wood, um, yeah, and let's see, this little silicone seal that goes around here. And then it has your straw that you know, won't come out. I thought these are really pretty for summer to take outside. So that's why I got this one. And then I got this one here in this pretty, pretty blue. I love the blue. It's just so nice. And this one's different. This one doesn't have that. This one just has a, like a plastic lid that snaps onto this one. But again, really nice for summer. Put some nice iced tea and some ice cubes in there and off you go. So I like those. Those are very nice. And then I found some napkins. I'm really liking their napkins now because instead of just having that one strip down the middle when you buy the napkin and then you open your napkin pack up and you realize the rest of it is just plain, I'm pretty sure that's how these are. I, no, wait a minute. I want to say I'm pretty sure this is not how these are because I got some at Easter time and the whole napkin was... Yep, this whole napkin is a print now. I'm so happy that they stopped cheaping out on those because it was very sad when you got those pretty napkins and then you open it up and it's like, oh, just a lovely little strip of something. But yeah, this has all kinds of, whoops, tropical kind of print onto it. I thought this would be nice to maybe do something with a little decoupage. So I got that one. I'll never get that back in there, so we'll just leave that right on top of the pack. I think you guys up really high. There we go. And then I, this one too. This one's really pretty. And these are the same. I'm, I'm assuming they're all print all over. But look how pretty the leaves and everything are on these napkins. And you know me. I see napkins. I think decoupage. So. And then I just got this one with the stripes on. I thought this might be nice for a background for something. Or these might just be nice napkins for a party. <laughs> I never see napkins as something to like wipe my mouth on. I always see them as something to decorate with, but then, you know what, yeah, these would make lovely napkins for a outdoor picnic or a luau kind of party or whatever you're doing. It would be fun. All right. Then I found these decorative balls. I love, love, love these. These are so pretty. I need something. I don't have a lot to decorate for summer, so I fear these will be pretty. They had this one here. They're just calling these table decorations. And then they had this one here that I thought was real pretty. Love the color. Kind of looks pine cone-ish, but I don't know what you want to call it. Just table decoration. But that one's real cool, too. And this one I love. This kind of reminds me of like an octopus or a squid or something. But look at it. And the color is just so pretty. So I got one of those. They had a couple other ones too, but they I forget what the colors were. They were really kind of off looking. I, I don't know. It just didn't scream summer to me. And then, of course, I had to pick up a couple of the birds. I missed out on most of these the last time they were out. So I got this pretty, pretty, like, I don't know. It's like a baby blue kind of birdie there. I don't know if the color's showing up good on camera, but they're really nice. And they're all glass or ceramic, rather. It's just called Ceramic Bird. So I got that one, and then I got the white one. I think they had pink ones, too. I didn't care for the pink, but I did get the white and the pretty, pretty blue. But yeah, so those are nice. These are just so many pretty decorations. And then they had this little birdie 
They had this one in a different color. What was the other color? But it was chipped and it was the only one. I want to say it was that kind of pretty blue because I'm sure that's why I would have gravitated towards that. But this one's more like a, a lavender. But how pretty. You know I love my birds. So yeah, there he is. They're, they're just calling these table decor. But yeah, I need something. I just Once Easter is over, it's kind of like bleh. I have nothing. So then I got these. Uh, starfish. These are all ceramic too. So I got the white one and I got the blue one. They had these in some other colors too. I can't remember. I wish I would have took pictures because my memory is awful um, right now. Um, I know they had some of these. Maybe, no, I think it's those tin decorations that they had the off colors. But these are real pretty. So I have all that to decorate with here for summer. And then I picked up these tin decorations. Now these are made as wall decorations, so these are pretty cool. So I picked up a couple of these fish, and these are an all nice tin. And this is a pretty, pretty blue color. So I'm thinking above the shelf where I'm putting some of these other decorations, these things will look really pretty hanging. And I'll show you the other stuff too. But then they had these in some weird colors too I didn't like. but. I really like those. Those were nice. And then they have these sand dollars. Um, yeah, that's just what they're, they don't really have a specific name. But they all have the nice little hooks. You can hang these all on the wall. They just have so much really nice summer decor for $1.25. Um, you couldn't get anything like this, like Hobby Lobby Michaels. You'd be paying a lot more for something like this kind of decor. So I got that pretty blue. And then there's, well, that's like that aqua blue. And then I got this pretty blue with the little hooks on the back. And they're a nice size. I don't, let's see where, of course, I don't have my, there it is. You guys probably saw it before I did. These are about seven and a quarter inches in the, the circle. So that blue is just gorgeous. And then I got the, and it's just silver. I figured that'd be kind of cool to break up all the blues and everything. I have a nice silver there with the silver fish. And I don't know, I'll figure out some way I'm going to hang these on the wall. I kind of like to have them all back there. And then these cute little things on top of my shelves in the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the living room. That's why I got these baskets. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these unless I get something to put in here to prop things up. But look how nice these baskets are. They're really deep. Um... There's no size on this either, but these are about seven and a half, it's seven and a half inch square, and they're actually like three and a half inches deep. So they're a very nice deep basket, and the edges on them are done nicely. Um, I forget what other ones they had not too long ago, but I didn't care for the way they did the edges on them. It looked, made it look really cheap. These look real expensive. Um, again, you couldn't buy anything like this anywhere else for $1.25. But these are just called a woven basket um, and it has like this little faux leather little hook here so if you wanted to put something in it this way and hang these on the wall you could do that too and i got it in this pretty pretty blue that really screams summer beachy stuff with these two colors so yeah i was shocked because i've gotten much tinier tinier baskets at dollar tree for a dollar 25. And then, let's see, whoop, there we go. Then I got these jar. I got a lot of glass stuff. They actually had to give me a box to put all this in. It's really pretty. You know, I love their little glass face and their little glass bottles that they have. This one's just called a bottle. Um, it has some raffia on it, and then it has this really pretty seashell on here. And that's kind of like a greenish color, but I think that will look pretty out on my shelf. And then they had it in the frosted. That was really nice, too. And they did have these in different colors, too. Maybe next week when I get back there after all this fun week is over with, I'll get some, I'll do some pictures of all the other ones because I can't buy all of them. I'm not, I haven't hit the lottery. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that one's got a nice shell, too. And that's tied on with like a little jute string. But yeah, they're just so pretty, and I'm a sucker for these bottles. And then I picked up these hooks. Had to have these hooks, too. I figured these would be nice to hang some summery things from. They have this one here. Looks like a shell. And then, you know, you can hook this up on your wall 
or whatever and then hang some pretty little decor piece from that or something. So I thought that one was nice. And then they had the starfish. I thought that was really pretty. Um, it's just called hanger decor. But yeah, very nice for summer. And then they had this pretty shell too. So I had to have them all, you know, just had to. <laughs> and I love them all. So that is that. This is like just a huge amount of dollar 25 stuff I got here today. I got this sign that says relax. They had several different signs with these beads, but I just love this one. Something I need to remind myself to do. And this is the nice, you know, these are like big signs. And it has like the wood veneer on it here. And then, you know, this is just that MDF stuff. But this is a nice big one. I mean, you could go in here, which I may go in here and paint these like a white and a, a blue. Not like this blue, but maybe that more of a seafoam blue and then maybe a darker blue or something. I don't know. I think I may paint the beads on this. And I think that'll be really pretty. I don't know. I'll have to dig through my paints and see what I want to do. But this is a really nice sign and it's really big. So that'll be nice. I don't know where I'm hanging at. I probably should put that in my bedroom to remind myself to relax. All right, I picked up another one of these signs. I could not help it. I got this one. Where's my one from last week? I want to do these up next week, hopefully. Um, this one I picked up last one. This one says, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> I thought that one was hilarious. So I went this week and I found this one. They have some other ones with cows and things on it. I don't really have a lot of farmhouse anything, but I had to have this one. This one says, heifer, please. <laughs> so I thought that was really funny. So we're going to paint these up. I got to get to these. I'm not sure how I'm painting them up yet. I want to do something around the edges. And I just think these are going to be hysterical. So I had to pick that one up. And let's see what else. Oh, that's my other stuff from last week. I found these. Now, I swear, I don't have these. I was just on Timu going crazy looking for different thank you things to make cards and stamps and things. I found this whole sheet of thank you stamps at Dollar Tree for $1.25. I probably couldn't even have got these that cheap on Timu. And it just has a ton of them in here that says thanks, thank you, thank you for your support, thank you, um, touch beyond words, thanks so much. And then it has like thank you written in like a script. Um, thank you for all you do. I ju it just has so many of the things I was looking for. And that's just crazy that I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree before. So I was very, 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 very excited about that. And then I picked up this little Hello Sunshine. <clears throat> and I thought this was just so pretty. It's just so bright. The yellows and the pink in the center. It was that an orange or a lemon. I believe that's a lemon. But yeah, I would think this would look real pretty in the center of a wreath too. So that's why I picked this up. I have to get another summer wreath made. Which is another reason here that I just bought another pack of these clothespins from Dollar Tree. These are the nice flat clothespins. They don't have any like cut designs in them or anything. And these are great to make a clothespin wreath. I don't know if you guys have seen the ones that I've made before, but the one that I made the one year that's like yellow and black with the bees or whatever on it, that is my favorite wreath ever. And when I hang it up, it just looks so pretty. So I want to make another summertime wreath and so I, I wanted to make sure I had enough. I know I have some of these clothespins. What do you get in here? There's 54 of these wooden clothespins. And these are, you know, down in the housework section of Dollar Tree. But yeah, that's why I got those because I really want to make another one of those wreaths. So we shall see. And then I picked up these plastic bags. These were in the party section. And I figured these would be great. Let me see. I don't know what they look like actually because I've never got these before. Um, I'm thinking for some of my die cuts and things. Oh yeah, these are perfect size. It has your little Ziploc here. And you could put all kinds of little goodies in here in the craft room. I mean, it's made, what are they made for? Like goodie bags? What are they saying? They're just calling them zip and seal bags. I don't know. They're made for whatever, but I think these will work great in the craft room for little odds and ends of things. And you get 40 of them in here. $1.25. Go figure. 
<laughs> but that is it. That is what I got. I was so excited over all this new stuff. I love seeing the new stuff come out. I mean, you know, everybody does. So I will clear this stuff up. I will bring little P in for a little bit of a visit and I'll be right back. All right, here he is. Yeah, I know I got my cups there yet, huh? I don't have a thing for underneath you. Hang on, let me do your paper towel in case you have a little accident. I know, it's dark and dreary, Tom P. He gets all shaky in here. It's all dark out that window. Let me get my glasses back on. Yes, see these? These are my new cups. Could you not break them? I need them to drink from. Yes. Don't look all sweet and innocent. I'm going to set them over here. Do you like this one too? Look at this one. It's got a pretty little star. Oh, yeah. He's like, give me the cup. <laughs> no. They're off limits. And if you're a good boy, you can have this peanut. Let me turn you this way so everybody can see you. Say hi, everybody. Huh. Say hi, everybody. Do you want this peanut? I know you're all out of sorts in here today. It's so dark and yucky out, huh? You don't want the peanut? No! Okay. We think I put it there. Do you want to tell everybody a story? Hmm? <laughs> you're so darn cute. You're lucky you're so darn cute. Oh, yeah. Stretch out those pretty feathers. They are so pretty. Yes, they are. Are you going to be a good boy? Or are you just looking to see what you can get into? I know if I left that there, you're probably going to want it on your own. Now do you want it? All right. Help you out a little bit there. Get a good one. There's only a couple left out there. Now you're going to have to get some more. Yeah, he usually gets the big bag because he feeds them to the squirrels. And the blue jays love peanuts. So he usually puts some out there outside for them after we fill up your container. Well, not just you, but everybody gets a peanut treat every now and again, huh? Yeah, could be good. Yes, you did good. I told everybody yesterday you had a chicken bone. Him and my African Grey absolutely love chicken bones, like the chicken leg bone. They will take that and just split it and just get all the marrow from inside the bone out. Huh. Yeah, you had a treat yesterday, huh? I had chicken bone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have to lock my African Grey in his cage to eat it because I worry, you know, if he drops it on the floor, my dogs would just devour a chicken bone, which they can't have. So, we put him inside the cage, and then after he's done digging out the marrow and stuff, he just drops it on the floor and he's done with it. Huh. Yeah, you too. You don't eat it as much as they do, but... Smokey, my African Grey, he really cleans them out good. Mm, you like a chicken bone? Do you like a chicken bone? Yeah, you do? Yes. He's so cute. <laughs> He's showing everybody just how cute you are. I think there's another one in here yet. Is it? Yep. There's another one in there. Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. I moved, moved my chair. Jeez Louise. Sorry, doesn't take much to scare you, does it? We gotta get done here because guess what? It's almost time to start cleaning cages. Yes, it is. Yep, change your water bowls and your food bowls. Is that time of day? Yeah, I know, it's getting late in the afternoon here. I think it actually stopped raining for a second. Dogs are outside. Finally, I mean, they go out during the day, but they don't really don't even want to go off the patio. It's been so gross out. But they're out there now. 
in the mud, but at least it's not pouring out. Huh, we're tired of the rain and we're tired of the mud. Even though we, you know, wipe them off when they come in, but still, there's still mud in their paws and it's just so gross. So once this all clears up, then we can start mopping and cleaning up again. Mm-hmm. Mopped floors. That's why we got rid of most of the carpet and we just have the, um, it looks like wood, but it's the vinyl, luxury vinyl flooring, which is wonderful for animals. Oh, yeah, I know they're still out there. I hear Benny barking. You hear Benny barking out there? But yeah, getting rid of most of the carpet, putting down that luxury vinyl flooring was the best thing that we ever did. Huh, yeah. So much easier to clean. Because I used to have actually have carpet in the bird room. Oh, that was a nightmare. It was constantly cleaning and steam cleaning, and we got rid of that. <clears throat> yeah, now it's so easy. We just spray and mop up your little things that you leave on the floor every day, and it's done. Yeah, real simple, easy peasy. Yep. A little spray bottle with the water and dawn. That's another great thing. We use a form of floors in there. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I hate to tell you, P, I don't think the sun's coming out tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. A little tiny piece. You want that? Very quiet in the house though. When it's dark and dreary, these guys are pretty quiet. Huh? You and your friends out there quiet? I'm cleaning the beak off. Look at that. Oh clean. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Oh my goodness, he looks so sleepy. What are you sleepy? Are you I don't have any more. It's all gone. Do you need some lovin's? Is that what you need? Yeah. Well, we're going to go out and clean your house. What do you think of that? Do you want a nice clean house to sleep in tonight? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, tell everybody. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and that we will see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody. Say bye-bye, P.